welcome to the 39th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to revit. So in this video will be another lighting series but this time around I'll be showing you the easiest way on how to make a lighting family that you can easily drag and move around even in the most complex surfaces. So let's begin. So what I got here is a simple bamboo-like decorative lighting which would illuminate its surrounding area with a simple faint light and I've got here the light source, kind of difficult to spot it since we're using realistic view. So anyway, like most, this is its own family and we can change its shape and distribution along with IES and photometric web file. So to start, make a new family and if you're using Imperial, you can go ahead and choose this folder like so and look for the generic model face based which is this one but if you're used to metric like me we're gonna be using this folder and look for the same family which is metric generic model face based which is this so simply go ahead and click the open for this one there so from here we'll be adding the family category and parameters Look for lighting fixtures, which should just be a few choices below generic model. And here it is. Now, just tick both of this and click OK. So from here, we can actually already load it into our project or to our family. And here it is. As you see, we can easily snap it into any kind of surfaces, even this one over here. If I click it here, you'll notice that it's, it's attached to the surface even underneath here. It's kind of difficult to notice since we're using realistic, but if I were to change the shaded, you will notice a big difference. So going back to our light source family, and so like most, if you click your family here, you can change its light source definition and go into this one, you will notice that here, in the family types, you can edit. If I were to increase this to 1000, you will notice a difference. And if we change the distribution, choosing this one, the photometric as well changes. So if we were to play around with this and decrease this one, you will notice a difference. But if we were to go to 3D, it would be so much easier. Also, and lastly, if you were to change this distribution right here, we can add some IES file here, looking for the current generic ones. And if I were to change it like this, press OK, you'll notice a difference. So if we are to change the elevation view, go to front. Let's just rotate it using this one right here. Let's move this here so it will not be inside the geometry. And if I load this back into our previous project, you will notice how everything changes since I, I have overwritten the parameter. And if I were to create similar, there you have it. And if I would like to place it here, there. Now, see how easy it was to use a face-based lighting fixture and how easily it can attach into any kind of complex surfaces. And that's it for our video. So, for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.